do one simple numerical. I think this question was asked somewhere in uh, Delhi University semester exam, 2018 paper. Two firms A and B compete setting the quantity. They face the market inverse demand function P is equal to 200 minus Q, where Q is equal to QA plus QB. And they both have MC equals to 20. Find the kuhn nash equilibrium. That's the first part. It's a simple part. So let's just try to find that out. Let me write, uh, what is your P? P is 200 minus Q, which is 200 minus Q plus QB. That is because of minus sign, it is QA minus QB because your Q is equal to QA plus QB. Pi A is price. Profit of firm one is the revenue from firm one. P into QA minus C into QA. That would mean P minus C into QA. What is P? 200 minus QA minus QB minus C. C is what? 20 which is given to you into QA, right? So it is 180 minus QA minus QB into QA. 180 QA minus QA square minus QA QB. That is what pi A is, right? So del pi A by del Q A is going to be what? 180 minus 2 Q A minus Q B equals to 0, right? That is my expression 1. Pi B profit of firm B is going to be P into QB, that is revenue of firm B, minus C into QB, that is your uh, cost of firm B. So that is P minus C into QB. P is what? 200 minus QA minus QB. C is what? 20 into QB. So that is basically 180 minus QA minus QB into QB. So that is what? 180 QB minus QA QB minus QB square minus QB square. That is what my pi B is. So I'll find out the reaction function. Del pi B by del Q B is going to be what? 180 minus Q A minus 2 Q B equals to 0. This is my expression 2. Right? So what I can do, I can solve one and two together. Solving one and two. So since the, both of them are equal to zero, I can just equate them. Both of them are equal to zero, so I can just equate them. So this 180, 180 will get cancelled out and you will have QA equals to QB. And you can substitute QA equals to QB in either one or two. So substituting QA equals to QB in one. Substitute QA equals to QB in one. So it is what? 180 minus 2QA 
minus QB. But in place of QB, I can write QA equals to zero. So it is what? 180 equals to 3 QA. So QA equals to 60. But since QA and QB are equal, so QB is also equal to 60. Right? QB is also equal to 60. And what is P going to be? 200 minus QA minus QB. So these are what my equilibrium quantities are. Okay. It is 200 minus 60 minus 60. 200 minus 120, which is 80. 200 minus 120, which is 80. So that is an equilibrium price in this case. So this is the equilibrium, kuno nash equilibrium. Second part says, how would the equilibrium change if the government decides to subsidize firm A with rupees 12 per unit? So government is saying that we are going to pay 12 rupees. So your MC is going to be, earlier MC was 20. Now government is saying we'll pay 12 rupees out of that. So your MC is going to be eight only. So it means firm A's MC is going to be eight only. Firm B's MC is same, that is 20. Now since there is no change in firm B's MC, so there is no change in equation two. That is same. Huh? There is no change in equation two. Second, note that. Note that there is no change in the best response function of form two, right? So, but you will have to recalculate the best response function of form one because its MC is now changed. So earlier MC was 20, now MC is eight because government is subsidizing, subsidizing 12 rupees per unit. Recalculating best response function of form one. Pi A equals to P minus C QA. That is 200 minus QA minus QB. But what should I write as C? I should actually, I should write MC A is now 8 and MC B is 20 only. So instead of C, I should be rather writing C A. So this is going to be eight only because government is subsidizing sub subsidizing 12 rupees per unit so pi a is 192 minus qa minus qb qa Pi A is 192QA minus QA square minus QA QB. Del Pi A by Del QA it's going to be like this. This is equation three. So now you can solve two and three together. So this is now the revised best response function of firm three. There is no change in, uh, in, in two because best response function of firm two is still same. It is just the changed best response function of firm one. So there is no change in two and three. Sorry, there's no change in two. Three is, of course, this. So it is going to be 180 minus QA minus 2QB is equal to 192 
minus 2QA minus QB. So I can just solve it together. And this is going to give me QA equals to 12 plus Q. So I can substitute this QA equals to 12 plus QB in either two or three. So substitute. QA equals to 12 plus QB in 3. So it is 192 minus 2 QA. In place of QA, I can write 12 plus QB like this. So once I'll solve this, I'll be getting uh, 168 equals to 3 QB. So QB comes out to be 56. And QA star will be 12 plus QB. That is 68. And this is not surprising because the marginal cost of firm A is lesser. So in equilibrium, it will be producing more. Equilibrium price is going to be 200 minus QA star minus QB star minus 68 minus 56. And what will this come out coming out to be 76? Because more is being produced now, so the price has fallen, right? What about the third one? How would the equilibrium price and quantity change if there were three identical forms with MC equals to 20? right, with MC equals to 20. Three identical forms with MC equals to 20. Now, instead of two, there are three identical forms. So this is the homogeneous cost structure, you know? When all the firms, they have MC equals to 20. So this is the case of homogeneous cost structure. CI equals to 20, homogeneous cost structure. So when you have homogeneous cost structure, then every firm will be producing equally in the equilibrium. It will be producing the same amount in equilibrium. All firms Produce, produce same quantity in equilibrium. So that is what basically QA star equals to QB star equals to QC star equals to Q star. So every firm is going to produce this, right? Uh, every firm is going to produce the same quantity and we're going to use this fact. And how do we know this? I mean, you, you looked at this case when both the firms have the same quantity, uh, same uh, when there were only two firms and they had the same marginal cost, they were they not producing the same? They were producing same. QA equals to QB. So under homogeneous cost structure in Kurno, all the firms are going to produce the same quantity. So let me write for the representative firm pi A. QA minus same to QA. So this is going to be 200 minus the total quantity. 200 minus Q. Q is what? There are three firms now. Minus C. Minus QA. Minus QB. Minus QC. Minus 20.
minus QAQC, right? This is what pi A is. Del pi A by del Q is what? 120 minus 2 QA minus QB minus QC equals to zero. And then you will have to write that, which I have written earlier. That is under homogeneous cost structure, all forms are going to produce the same quantity in equilibrium. So instead of writing QA, QB, QC, we will be writing this Q star. Right. So it is 180 equals to 4 Q star. So Q star equals to 45. That is each firm, each of the three firms produce 45 units in equilibrium. Forty-five units at equilibrium. So P star is going to be two hundred minus Q A minus Q B minus Q C. So it is two hundred minus three into forty-five. That will be sixty-five. So since there are more, there's more quantity which is being produced. So the price has reduced, right? So this was a question which we wanted to do today. Right, Bita? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.